Alrighty everyone, what is going on? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're getting into a new series on the channel. Obviously, Resident Evil Village. This game came out two days ago now, and I have, over the last two days, I have been playing it. And I've successfully finished the game once. I've played it on standard difficulty. And I just wanted to experience it for myself and do like a really quick playthrough, just so I can take in all the story quickly. And I finished it in like two days, so yeah. That is my, I'm, I'm quite a fan of this series, and I really did enjoy this game. In my opinion, I think it's pretty good. I don't know what the general opinion is at the moment, but I think it's pretty good. So now that I've played it through, we are here to play it on the YouTube channel. Obviously, that is why we are here today. So we're going to be starting a new game. Obviously, it's not the most, uh, the most uh, recent upload. Obviously, there's probably people who have beat me to it. The whole game's probably on YouTube at this point. It's been, it's been out for two days. But I will be uploading one hour episodes of this every once a week and then one hour Metro episodes every week. Um, we're going to mix this together. This game took me about nine hours first playthrough, but obviously, as you can see by the title, we're playing on hardcore. I played through the game first time standard. I'm jacking it up to hardcore. I'm going to see how I can go. This mo I'll probably edit a lot of stuff out where I struggle, um, but it'll probably pretty much just be... I'll put in a little bit just to show you that I think hardcore is quite a step up from standard. But we will find out, and um, if I can beat it on hardcore, then I might go off str off video, or if you guys want me to make a video on it and play the hardest difficulty. But for now, I'm going to only take one step up into, instead of taking two and throwing myself into the fucking deep end. We're only going to play hardcore. I think, I don't know what the difference is. Enemies, maybe get less loot, etc, etc. That is to be found out, but I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, drop some notification bell. Also, make sure to come check out my Twitch stream. Link's in the description down below. I'd love to see you guys there. We stream there all the time, playing all sorts of games. I'd love to see people there. Um, otherwise, I really hope this is a good series. I hope this part one does well, because I really do want to play this on YouTube, but if it flops, then I, might, I probably won't even bother. I'll just enjoy it myself. But let me know what you guys want. Let me know if you want me to continue this series. Let's get into it. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father. Who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the Rasko broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared, and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> A local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. 
We moved here so that you wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. So, uh, obviously, if you haven't played... No, I didn't. I'll put sure. down. Obviously, if you haven't played Resident Evil 7, a lot of this stuff isn't going to make sense. Nope. Got the TV on. Um, but yeah, obviously, I know pretty much everything that's going on. I played the game. Obviously, that is not for me to say, though. This is this is for this is more just uh, me pushing the limits, playing on hardcore, while also uh, while also making content. This doesn't look like anything special, to be honest. What the fuck am I watching? <laughs> you know, we won't waste too much time on that. I will look around and stuff, though. I'm still going to be explorative. That's just how I play games. Took forever to pick these wipes. There you go. There you go. Um. But yeah, obviously this is his daughter though. I don't. That's not a spoiler at all. I'm pretty sure you can figure that out. <laughs> well, I got you another new book. But um, obviously this is directly after what happened in Resident Evil. I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. Resident Evil Seven. Obviously you were trapped in the house. This is that introduces. Well, sure, big girl. We'll have a drink together. All right. That introduces a lot of the uh. A lot of the stuff that they're going to be talking about in this game. So really, if you haven't played Resident Evil 7 ever before, you haven't watched any gameplay on it, I definitely would recommend it because you're going to be a bit behind. My taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has? You're right. You um, no? Maybe later then. Let's just keep looking around. See what's... That goes to the front door. Yep, there you go. It's in here. You got some baby food. Yeah, makes everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. Why do you keep buying it then, you junkie? <laughs> okay. Rose's half birthday. Fair enough. Her birthday will be here before we know it. They grow up fast. Let's just enjoy it while we can. Rose's food, February. Rice cereal, Ethan, don't give her any sugar or honey, and no mushrooms. Yeah, right. Any of these photos we can expect? Doesn't look like it, to be honest. Uh, here we go, we got a drawer. Nothing in it. Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. A walk, he says. Okay. Let's go up. Oh, you're up. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Yeah, fair enough. Can't be reading horror stories to a young girl. What is this? And I love this song oh, yeah. so much. Yeah, that's better. Relieving. Yeah, this is a full next gen title, and I do have the next gen console to run it. So hopefully, it's a nice, smooth game. Mia's medication. She's been on a strict regimen ever since the incident. Um, I'm not playing on the 60 FPS, I'm playing on the 45 FPS to enable ray tracing, which does actually, like, I already experimented with this, makes makes just the overall feel, it's worth the 15 frame drop, like, it's over 30 anyway, so it, it's smooth, you can feel it's smooth. This is a dude from the, uh, 7. Why don't I even keep this around? I should get rid of it someday. Yeah, they're, they're the things you have to shoot in 7, I'm pretty sure. Uh, is this our bedroom? <coughs> I have no Gotta idea. Do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. This looks like a historical look into the architecture of Eastern Europe, European castles and keeps. Here, uh, I just hear a car. What's this? 
Curtain closed on the Dolby gas incident. The committee completed their investigation on the 18th into the Dolby toxic gas leak in Louisiana in 2017. They concluded the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas that had built up in the Murdoch area under the in the Murdoch mud rock sorry under the area what am i saying jack baker 57 and his family who were exposed to the gas perished ethan winters and his wife are also believed to have been nearby but their current whereabouts are unknown the entire area has been cleared off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years for the area's habitable kind of right. again so that is pretty much just a summary a small summary of what happened in the last game jack baker and family are the enemies obviously and a gas leak is complete not a cap Obviously, that's a cover-up. Ethan and Mia Winters are the two people in this house right now. Almost there, honey. You play as Ethan. Just a little bit more intel for you guys. Um, here we are. This is the room. I know. It looks like this is the bedroom. That must be the spare room, that other one. I don't know. Absolutely nothing in here. What the fuck was the point of even opening that? Looks like what I'm supposed to do, so let me just keep looking around. Rose's clothes. The gaming setup, fair enough. Now here we go. <laughs> Family memories, okay, okay. I wish it could stay like this forever. Fair enough, honestly. I mean, this dude went through a lot in the last game. Let's be honest. Gun survivalist, a heavy fight. Like to get you. True. Teddy bear, let's go. Well, hi there, little Rose. Look at the voice on him. It's another car. They're meant to be cars out here. Ah, uh, that's her birth stuff by the looks of it. Mir and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. Finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly, but I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole in Louisiana. That is where Resident Evil 7 took place. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but we can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe that much at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at hospital if she didn't care. Rose is fine. Alright, let's Thank put her in bed. Waiting. She's scary when she's angry. You're not wrong. I remember, I remember the good old days, Resident Evil 7. Don't you worry. I'll she be right downstairs. She won't let those weird messed you up. Get you. Alrighty. Looks like she's in bed. That, the movement when you have her in your hands is terrible. This is a major upgrade. Alright, let's go back down. Hello, hello. Dinner ready, dinner ready. Surely, surely. Oh, you got a cutscene, okay. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- Oh! She doesn't even care. Mia, get down. Take cover. Oh, damn. Mia. Ethan knows how to take cover. He fucking he played Resident Evil Seven. Mia didn't. <laughs> Mia. Oh God. Oh. The beast. What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! Damn. What? Why? Go on, move. Oh, 
All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, <laughs> sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Damn. <laughs> Dude just got smacked. Get him out of here. That ended well. Fine, cool. Okay. Hey doc. hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Keep telling you it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan. You matter. You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. The homie. Oh, phone's calling again. Oh, I think this is real life. Pretty sure I clicked hard, dude. Thing's been dialing for a while. Should have auto hung up by now. What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. Good job, Bob. Fuck. What the hell happened here? I mean, he's got a handy flashlight. Can't complain. Alright, what is this? Mission objectives, eliminate target, recover body, secure Rosemary, and Winters, Ethan Winters. Move the two Winters, Winters to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany me. Okay. Phone's useless. Fair enough. We are in the middle of nowhere. Beautiful. Car is scuffed. As usual, the indicator is on as you happen to crash because why not? <laughs> Alrighty, game is beginning to kick off by the looks of it. Up we go. Dude's not walking very fast for someone walking through the middle of a fucking forest. Because this dude just got no resistance to buddy being worried anymore after what happened in Louisiana. This torch is pretty shit as well. Can't see anything. Oop. Bye bye fence. Let's keep going. Dude's hand just got clapped by the fucking wire. You're up. Well, so let me know if you want a face cam. I can't say I'll get jump scared too much. Seems I've already played. But I'll put the face cam on if you want. Maybe something different will happen that I had no idea was going to happen. What the hell? Bunch of dead crows on the ground. Recent. Blood everywhere. Let's keep going. Dead crows hung up. Let's keep going. <laughs> This man does not give a shit. He's literally bumping the crow. Jesus. Alright, that got me. I won't lie. I forgot that. I forgot that. 
relax, bro. You're making too much noise. Oh! Is that a foot? This doesn't sound healthy. Ethan Winters got to be the ballsiest cunt I think I've ever seen. Oh, a house. Okay. Anything here? We got a draw. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, turn the tap off. I got you, man. I'll say I'll save the water. I'll save the water. That stop it. Yeah, water bill. Water bill coming through for whoever lives here. The bed looks pretty intact, to be honest. I mean, look, look. it's the same meds Mia had, wasn't it? Is that a phone? No. Looks like... Fuck. You're right. Let's crack this open. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's anything useful in here to be honest. Oh uh, yes. Basement. The usual. Nothing there. Oop. The fuck is that? Random ass photo to have in your family household. <laughs> is that like a the fuck? What is that? Symbol game? Okay. So I'm gonna just knock on that. Oh god. Okay, let's do it. It's gone silent. <laughs> what a troll. Oh shit. Go, 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 go. Why do I not have a sprint button yet? Oh god. Alright, up we go. Into the void. Someone is sprinting about up here. You're a wild cunt, kind of Ethan. Honestly, you are wild. <laughs> Hands fried. Is that from the barbed wire? I think it is. Or is it just because he just crawled through blood? Scale the area. Oh, it's Oryx! <laughs> If any of you are watching, like, who watch my Siege videos, I think uh, Oryx has come through here, obviously. I mean, I mean, check it out. <laughs> um, is there anything back here now that's... Look out the window, get jump scared. Nope. Alright, well, thanks for the door. I appreciate it. Was it night time before? I swear it was night time when we came through here before. Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, there's not even a button to climb over, you literally just walk up to it. Okay. <sighs> Hardcore. So far I haven't had to fight any enemies yet, but from what I remember, not good. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't even say I'm a professional at playing these games, but... This shot right here is beautiful, in my opinion. I took a screenshot of this when I first played the game. Um, I, I know I'm cutting off immersion, but I put it as my wallpaper. As you can see, so I think that shot right there, really cool shot. The, the The whole game is crafted beautifully, in my opinion. Like, really, what I'd expect from an next gen title. I think, in terms of in terms of looks, they they pulled off exactly what they said they would, in my opinion. I think this is definitely what I would have expected. Uh, 
Damn. My boy. Dead AF. <laughs> um, that door is squeaking. You love to see it. What's up here? Crashed car. Anything for loot wise? I don't think I actually get to loot yet. I don't know, this door looks open, so let's go. Maybe maybe they're out? Maybe they're out. What a fucking clown. <laughs> Alright, uh, pretty much if you look at the maps here, as you can see, the red means there's loot in the house, right? So that means technically there is loot in here. Here we go, this is probably it right there, yeah. It's a lock, it's a lock pickable lock. I don't have any lock picks, we're not looting that. Let's keep going. It's the same with here as well. I think, I think this is all one building, and it just wants me to lock pick that, that lock pick, so. We got a well here. Um, yeah, we need a part that I don't have. So there's another building that has loot. I on I don't think I can even loot at the moment, to be honest. Because I'm not at that point yet, so. Do not enter, it's a bit locked. There's a house over here that's like vividly marked on my map. I feel like that's where we need to go. Let's go have a look. What is that doing here? Is that, isn't that literally the teddy bear? Good question, Ethan. Good question. No, hey. Shrek gonna come out? No, I can't even open it. Just a check. There you go. That place is looted. Beautiful. Um, maybe I think I think I've gone the complete wrong direction. Honestly, um, I think I'm kind of ruining the whole scare factor at the moment. Oh, right, here we go. There's music playing down here for whatever reason. Is there? What is this? What happened? Not, none of this is a sign for you to just go home, Ethan, man. Oh yeah, there is a radio playing. I thought I was tripping. Man literally had a working phone at that car as well. Actually, no. It was useless. My bad. Um, that door looks open. Looks like that's where we're going. This place looks fortified. Ooh. We got a knife. Did they just run out of the house? That that doesn't look very nice, I'll be honest. Open. Hello. Oh. Friendly. Friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road. And... How did he miss that shot? What's going on? Oh no. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Why would you? Take it! Take it! No, it's out, bro. bro, leave him alone, man. You're getting swarmed. Are you listening? Oh! What the? Dude, 
dude is cooked. Damn! The hell just grabbed me. Oh! Dead body. I think there's more than one champion. Wait, there's more. There you go. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We've been recording for half an hour, so I think that honestly is a perfect point to just be like, alright. We're gonna pause and we're gonna we're gonna save. <laughs> I know it's a bit whack, it's a bit random, but I don't want to make this a whole hour video. Although it probably would work better just in terms of consistency. But I just want to get a first episode out and see how many people are actually interested in watching this. So if you made it to the end of the video, let me know. And also let me know if you would be keen to watch this series. It is something I want to do. It's a game I want to play multiple times and thoroughly enjoy. I want to do everything I can on this game. It's Resident Evil. And through my first playthrough, I really am keen to just keep it going. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video because that means I can keep playing it. But with that said... Otherwise, if you didn't, let me know why, and pretty much just leave a like on the video if you did to help it get out. Drop a sub notification bell to stay up to date with all the future videos on this and whatever else I upload on the channel. We upload every day. That's one thing I can promise you. And also, make sure to come check out my Twitch streams. Links in the description down below. I'd love to see you guys there. Stream there all the time. We'll be streaming probably what, like a little bit after this video goes out if you're interested in coming and stopping by. Ask any questions. I don't know. But with that said, hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you in the next.